All right, guys, just saw this this morning. Looks like fresh dirt being dug out. I created a hole, set my trap. This was like 30 minutes ago using this gopher hawk, and we got a win. Look at that. This thing is awesome. This gopher hawk. I, I seriously am like almost like 100%. Every time I see this, I set it, and like 30 minutes later, an hour later, boom gets it same day or next day so highly recommend um, part of the reasons why I think this thing works so good is that you create this hole and then you stick your gopher hawk in there and it kind of seals up the hole so these guys don't see any light so they they're kind of like just cleaning out their burrows or cleaning out their lines and they walk right into it and then BAM so I'll put a link down below um, I got it on Amazon and I got the kit that had the, the stake or the, the tool that can actually make the hole and you use this rod to kind of poke around to see if you can find it and I kind of poked around and then right here it was like whoop went straight in it's like okay here's the hole set my hole and before you know it you got yourself a gopher so um, this year has been so good for me having this little gopher hawk. Um, I don't have to dig, which is awesome. Um, in the past, I used to dig and set, you know, my traps, and it would be such a pain. You'd be working all day, essentially, trying to figure it out and trying to figure out which direction the hole comes from. But with this thing, it just, you know, just works. All right, let me show you what else I did yesterday and today. I planted. A Carmen Hass. Here it is. This was a Carmen that I got from Brokaw. And I'm doing it more than anything just to document what it looks like today, February 9th, 2023. So I'll have some video footage of, of what it looks like today, February 9th. And hopefully in a year from now, I'll do another recap of this Carmen from Brokaw and uh, kind of show you guys what this thing looks like. So this Carmen from Brokaw was starting to, let me see if I could make sure it focuses correctly here, but it was definitely starting to flower. You can see it forming right there. Uh, I don't know, if it, kind of a shadow there, but um, it's starting to flower. That's what prompted me to kind of get going. And there's more buds over here forming. You can see that. So good time. Um, wish I would have done it like a couple weeks ago, but it's just a little busy. So no worries. It's finally in. So I forgot to mention that this Carmen is a clonal rootstock because you can tell by looking at the yellow right there, which means it was a clonal. And this was a Duke 7. And what I've kind of noticed is um, Duke's are pretty tough. Uh, let me see if I could uh, focus correctly here. But essentially, if you look, this branch is already, this trunk is already pretty thick. So dukes are tough. And excited to finally get it in the ground. It took some time for me to kind of plant it out. But this is kind of where I have it right now. So let me show you what else I got in the ground. Here it is, another one. I have my Hass avocado from Brokaw. You can see the, the tag down there. And this one is on Dusa. So the leaves are not looking that great, but um, it's starting to form buds. Um, let me see if I could get this thing to focus correctly. So definitely starting to form buds right now. So I finally got it in the ground yesterday and today and mulched it like crazy. So, and it's raised up probably about six inches. So let's see how these two avocados do. So Hass and Carmen Hass, just documenting what it looks like right now. So hopefully you guys are doing good. Just a quick video to kind of document where I'm at and uh, gotta stay hydrated. Make sure you keep your avocados hydrated and you should be fine. Talk to you guys later, see ya.